Hey everybody, Rob from Let's Build Lego here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get cheap Lego, authentic Lego, and on top of that, current sets and or expired or expired, uh, no longer for sale sets, decommissioned sets, for cheap. How? Pretty easy, actually. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how... I do this whole thing when it comes to money wise. So you'll usually have two websites open, bricklink.com and ebay.ca. First thing what I'll do is I'll actually look at the set I want to buy. So the set I want to look at is set 10 to 21 Lego Superstar Destroyer. This is by far the set I have always coveted, always wanted it. It is the set of my dreams. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to look up on eBay, Lego Super Star Destroyer, set 10 2, 2, 1. We're going to say, well, best match, but we also want to do shipping plus lowest first. So here we see that, well, this is the sticker. It's $4.58. So we're going to change up a little bit and say... You know what, we'll go with best match. We're also gonna change this to a gallery view just so we can see a little bit better. So here, for example, $1,388. Well, $22 for shipping, interesting. But honestly, we don't know much other than the fact that it says it's brand new. So a couple things I've always noticed about this is Oh, here we go. So it's arrived, jaw dropping vessel, blah, 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 blah. This is just, just a copy paste of what it is that they're selling. That always kind of makes me sit back and go, okay, well, uh, you're not telling me if it's ever been opened. This kind of says the same thing as up before, brand new, unused. Oh, no, there we go. Unopened and undamaged item. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't say anything, sometimes it does. Or sometimes it'll just say contact seller for information. But so far we're basically being told this is unopened. Brian Spankin new, still in the box, still sealed. Interesting, but it's $1,388. So without going more into detail into this listing, we're gonna take everything at face value. It's sealed, it's unopened, it's, uh, you know, it's, Plus ship, now mind you, this is Canadian, so do your own exchange rates. Um, shipping is, ba, 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 ba. what's that? I don't even know what that postal code is. What's this post? I, what's this postal code? Where apparently is this going to? Oh, interesting. Oh, it's going to, I guess I, we have maybe a eBay shop. There might be an eBay shop there. Interesting. So, um, yeah. I mean, that's... N oh. It's coming from Thornhill. So it's actually coming from Canada to Canada. It's basically just going down the highway. Um, to be honest, 1300 bucks. Pretty bloody expensive. But, you know, unopened, right? Sealed. No big deal. If you look down here, ones are a little cheaper. So, like, this one's $1,018. Well, the box has been damaged a little bit. So that tells me this is not new. This has been open. Scroll down. It's retired. Uh, it says the boxes are factory sealed. Interesting. So this is factory sealed, box is slightly damaged. It's $777.77 gain, so $1,018. Okay. So I'd say anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200. I, I mean, it's pretty expensive still. 1,300 bucks, 1,000 bucks, 1,400, 1,047, 1,080. This seems to be the cheapest. A lot of people seem to be watching. 1,144, so we'll say $1,200. Um, is the price on eBay? Well, 
Let's go to Bricklink. Let's take a look. We're going to go into sets. We're going to just put in the set number. So 10, 2, 2, 1. And we're going to hit search. And this is going to show us the price lowest to most expensive. So this is an incomplete version of the Starship. It's $600 Canadian. Uh, no minifigures. Uh, it's also missing, I believe that says, no minifigures, smaller Star, Star Destroyer build. Uh, stands instructions, stickers are applied. 100 is complete, but no minifigures, 700 bucks. No condition, have some wrinkles and scratches, sealed and never opened. So this is brand new. So basically you're paying here is for the box. That's in Korea, and that's $800 Canadian. Well, that's almost $1,000 cheaper than eBay. But could we get it cheaper? Well, there's this little option called parting out, which is right here. You have to be logged in to BrickLink. We're going to click part out. We're going to include the minifigures. Don't have to. All 3,121, 20, sorry, 3,124 parts. We're going to click here and say, we're going to call this SSD, the Super Star Destroyer. We're going to create a favorite list. We have the set chosen, just in case there's more than one set. I've had every now and then there'll be more than one set pop up here. This is the set number, and this is how many of this set we want. I only want one Super Star Destroyer. I do not need two. But there we go. We have one. We're going to click Submit for Edit. This is now going to break down every single piece in existence that's used in this set. Scroll down, you get to see every part. But there's a couple things you always need to pay attention to when doing this. Number one, as you scroll down, here are the minifigures. Take a look and see what's going on with these. Number two, some parts are no longer manufactured or are just not available. What you can do is tell it, hey, so it's saying right now that this part um, is no longer produced, but this part is now produced. This one is more available than this one. Do you want to exclude it? We'll say, yeah, why not? Same thing with this one. It's saying this, uh, this one here is no longer made. This is the new one. Okay, cool. No big deal, etc., etc., etc. These are all old parts versus new parts. We're gonna add everything to our wanted list. One of the things I like about here is because those um, no longer in production run pieces sometimes can get really expensive. So here we go. So it's telling us these are all the parts we want, including Dengar, Darth Vader with the two different heads, Bosk, and Emerald Piet, and all the parts. Oh, and the sticker. Blah, 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 blah. Well, let's buy everything. We're going to say we want to buy everything from North America, pay with the Canadian dollar. Just like another video, we're not even going to bother clicking, clicking stores. We're just going to click auto select. We're going to just hit start. It's going to process here, go through all these stores, look to see who's offering what, where everything's going. And as of this moment, we have... Buying in North America, 99% of the model we need for $1,307.18. Notice how that's more expensive? Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting, isn't it? Why is it so expensive? Well, for example, this thing right here. We're being charged $500 by this American store. Why? Well, for example, they're charging $300 for this light bluish gray piece and $3.72 for this one. $2.43 for this piece, uh, $6.16 for this piece. This, this store is charging a lot of money for some of these parts. Um, this one, $127. Why is it $127? Well, let's scroll down and take a look. Here, it's the parts themselves are pretty cheap. It's just the number of parts. Uh, this one, 155 bucks. Click edit. Let's take a look. 10 cents, 48 cents, 60 cents. No big deal. $5 for that. 
346 for that. Interesting. Um, $82 over here. There's that part that wasn't made anymore. The sticker, almost $80. So, in this case, it's actually cheaper for us to buy it from South Korea. Remember, it was $800 before shipping. This is $1,300 before shipping. Now, what you can also do too, if you don't want to buy um, the whole thing in one shot from somebody because you're kind of nervous about you know what's going on and you just want to buy the parts, you can do that. Buy them in small amounts, right? Buy from one store first and just slowly build up your collection till you have all the parts and then you're good to go. Done. Easy as pie. Now, that's a current... Um, more current set but what if we wanted an older set say from the 90s it's hard to find right so i'm thinking the very first thing i ever got for lego was a lego fireboat uh well actually that one right there uh 4031 Sets 40, 31. Right now, cheapest for me to find. Includes all parts, fair condition, missing two stickers, uh, no instructions. $45.82. You do not need the instructions. Um, one thing I always want to mention and stress, you don't need the instructions. And you don't really need the minifigures either. The minifigures are always the most expensive. Um, I'll show you that in, in a moment here. Uh, minifigures are always the most expensive. Uh, complete, no box instructions, extras, or stickers. So, no stickers for this one, which is no big deal. But if, for me, nostalgia purposes, I'd want this because I'd want the stickers. Um, because I'd want to build that thing, right? Here, set complete, no box or instructions. That's okay. It's $50 Canadian. Interesting. Well, let's, let's click on you in a new tab here. Get rid of you because you're not on there. So $45 US, so $58.90 Canadian. Not bad. What if we part out this set? Don't want the minifigures, we just want the parts. We do not want the ins. You can also set it here, be like, hey, you know, the minifigures just for the set, just the set itself, specific parts for the set. Um, you know, book, etc., etc. But we're just gonna leave it there. Uh, actually, you know what? Sorry, I'm wrong. It's down here. So, like the original box, uh, we want the four minifigures. You want the instructions. Honestly, to be 100% honest between you and I, I just want the parts. Um, nine times out of ten. In this case, for nostalgia purposes, I just want to see how much it'll cost to get this set with the four minifigures that comes with it. The three firemen, the two firemen, the fireboat captain, and the pilot. We're gonna call this fireboat from childhood. We're gonna submit. Scroll down, make sure it shows all the part, all the parts. You get to go through this no matter what anyways. Add a wanted list, it'll show you, hey, this is no longer available, etc., etc., etc. By all, we're gonna say North America. Have to accept the Canadian dollar because I'm Canadian and I get paid in Canadian dollars. Auto select. And here we go. So to part this thing out, we would also be getting some extra pieces, which I think are the actual people. Uh, we have to go through and double check everything as I've done in the last video where you always check your order, make sure you're getting all your parts. And here we go. $120.26. Well, apparently uh, Mark's Boats and Bricks here is selling it for $58. So I'm going to buy it used from Mark's Boats and Bricks. Pretty simple, right? Not all the time. Not all the time. So the next one we're going to look at this is going to be the last example. Uh, I'm going to use is the uh, the green grocer. 
I'm gonna search up. This is the one I always find is always the more entertaining part. So rare, green grocer. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here, this one's got substitute parts and it's 500, it's almost $600 Canadian, no. Uh, this one's missing parts, we don't want that one. Uh, all original parts, parts are inventory and separated by color, etc., etc., etc. So we're just gonna make sure. Okay. So Doug here is telling us for $850.89 before shipping in Canada, we are gonna get the green grocer, the full green grocer set. It's been taken apart and inventoried. Cool, what you can do is message the person to be like, hey, so this is the set you're selling. Can I have some pictures of it? In, con in conjunction, can I get you to verify for me that the minifigures are there? Can I get you to verify that, you know, A, B, C, whatever. You know, here's a parts list. Can you double check to make sure you have all the parts? Um, you can do that. In most places, depending on what they are, they'll do it. Come to the terms here and it'll just say, shipping policy, I ship domestically. Order will be processed within a week, but there's a $2 fee for it. And they ships to everywhere, blah, 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 blah. There's Canada right there. Methods, etc. Boom. Um, breaks something down. Only accepts American dollar, but they pay via PayPal, so that's no big deal because, you know, we're all good to go. As long as you accept the PayPal, it just automatically converts for you, which is good. Um, so, yeah, so we have two options here so far. The first option is Doug here. So Douglas is selling it for $850.89 plus shipping. So we're looking at 80, uh, international shipping. This thing's going to weigh a lot. So we're probably looking at around 40 or 50, maybe 30 or 40 bucks to have this thing shipped up here to Canada. So we'll say around $900, give or take, plus possible duty when it hits the border. So we're probably looking at maybe some extra money there, depending on what's, uh, what's going on. So let's see how much it would cost for us to part it out uh, we're not going to say too much about the minifigures because we can just go buy a whole you know just make your own and all that stuff but we're going to call this green grocer we're going to submit you scroll all the way to the bottom I always ignore this part just because it's no big deal you can always order extra parts change parts if you want them new or used scroll 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 and the wanted list, usually it's easier to hit the button on your keyboard. More parts you have, the longer sometimes this takes for it to break down just how much it's, you know, it's got to do for you. So there we go. We got the green grocer. Buy all. Now, first, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to check Canada. Always check your native country first. Boom. 100% of what we need. $1,318.82 before shipping. This is going to cost us $500 more if we just order the parts. So, what that means is we're going to buy it directly from Doug. There you go. That's the cheapest thing. Sometimes you will luck out. And for example, the parts are actually cheaper to purchase this method versus the other way around, which is good. Um, sometimes you get it where it's the other way around, where it's cheaper on eBay. Um, you always have to play, I always like to play these three off on one another. I always go to Bricklink and eBay. Look at what cart parts are gonna cost, uh, sets are gonna cost, things like that and kind of go from there. Minifigures themselves, here we go. Find all your different minifigures and all that stuff. Huh. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching everybody. That's just a way to have, the way I find, cheap Lego, cheap sets, and all that stuff. Um, the other option is buying massive, big, huge, random lots on eBay. I've never done that before. It's a possibility, I might try. 
might look into something like that see uh, just how that all works out never done that before but uh thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye bye